Hi, it's Sandra from asexualized.com in association with World of Quirky and Quirky Academy. Asexualized.com is a new website coming soon with products and resources for asexuals. How are you doing? Today, I have to tell you, it has been a struggle for me. Um, it's been a really, really strange, crazy, crazy day. And it's been quite an emotional ride for me today. So I found out on Friday um, that a family friend has died. Um, she passed away on Monday. And um, she had blood cancer. And I spoke to her before Christmas. I knew she was going to die. And she actually wanted to die. Uh, she wasn't in pain. But she'd lived a year longer than she expected to. And she, she didn't want to live um, anymore. So I'm okay uh, with it in in that way, but you know it's always tough. But I I did speak to her around Christmas time, and I told her I thought she was an inspiration to others, um, because you know she she lived longer than she should have done, and that gives hope to others. Yeah, a lot of hope. So you know, and she got to she bought my um well she bought she bought a, a publication called Devon Life Business and Professional and I was in there giving my expert opinion about the jobs market and um, with reference to my breakthrough of barriers of redundancy to get back into work in A to Z how to guide book so yeah um, she couldn't find me in there initially I had a really tiny picture of me um, and it had this guy going ah tearing his hair out over the desk pretty much of paperwork um, but I phoned her back and told her where it was on page 28. So she did have the magazine. She said she was going to look at it again. So yeah, um, the funeral's on the 8th. So whether I, I, I'm i planning to go to that at the moment. But, you know, it's going to be hard for me um, in my mind to do that. The last funeral I went to was my grandma in 2014. And that was really difficult for me. But I survived. She'd be so proud. And uh, she was like a best friend to me. So that's that's been really tough. And then I went to sleep um, thinking about my Auntie Phyllis, I used to call her. And, um, sorry, it's really difficult for me to do this. So I went to sleep. And obviously going to sleep and thinking about death is never a good thing. So I went to sleep and I dreamt about three animals that were apparently my pets. One was a cat. I don't even have a cat. And these all died within within a day. And it was really difficult for me. Yeah, really difficult for me. Um, yeah. So that was a, a difficult, tough day. And um, I, I am an insomniac. I haven't told you that. I don't sleep very well. I have bad nightmares regularly since being a child. So I've come to sort of expect it. But I tend to like to go to sleep at four in the morning. And sleep through until um, until 12, midday. And then I get my eight hours sleep and I'm nice and fresh and bubbly and wide awake because I am a night owl. So I'm backwards to everyone else. I work really well at night, really focused and concentrating. Still working on the asexualized.com site. So I'm going to have that to you guys very, very soon. So yeah. And, and that was a really difficult thing for me. And then I've been talking to a lot of asexuals lately, helping them um, as much as possible, talking to them about stuff that I can really relate to to to, to well to you guys I can really relate to you you know I really can and um there's some people have obviously had abuse in their life and my ex was was an abuser um uh, mostly emotional and psychological actually um he used to be physically threatening too and I was with him for a total of eight and a half years and I haven't actually told that to you before as a huge part of my life and you know I've, uh, this morning I, I had flashbacks um, because I've been discussing stuff about my ex and uh, with others which I don't need to do for me I, I'm I'm it's 2011 since I last with him I got over him it took me about 18 months to two years but I didn't you know I didn't need to talk about him ever again in my life but obviously he's gonna crop up because he's the last long-term relationship I ever had in my life and sometimes in my dreams he is there you know and um it's kind of hard because the day I was thinking about him instead of flashing back to the really bad stuff which um you know I, I I tend to think it's better to think 
bad of an, an abuser because he was really bad. That was reality. And for years, it took me ages to wake up to that. You know, I was, today I was thinking about the time I went back to him. So we were not together for six months. Um, I was with him for a year and a half. We weren't together for six months. And um, I went back to him. And I can remember that time clearly. Today, all of a sudden, you know, me going back to, to him. How I felt when I saw him. He, he stalked me basically for six months, which was horrendous. But, um, you know, I, I still was in L with him. I don't even like to say that word, you know. And I went back to him. And he was, what, nicer for a couple of weeks. And then it was horrible. He was worse than when I first split up with him. And today I was remembering that feeling, the feeling why I went back to him, the feeling of what made me feel good about going back to him. And so I was remembering some sort of good stuff, but it's an optical illusion, you know. That the mind, it what it does is it brings up memories and it attaches feelings to those memories. And um, sometimes your mind plays tricks on you and it makes you think things are good when they're not, you know. I would never want to be with them ever again in my entire life. In that fleeting moment... It does make me think about that time when I wanted to go back to him, though. And I've got that even urge to go, you know, that urge that I had at that time, that, that feeling swept all over my body. You know, he stalked me, so I went up to his place and, to tell him I didn't want to hear from him ever again. And I ended up going back to him. Do you know that night I was so frightened? And it didn't turn. I didn't go back out that door and slam it behind me and leave. And, but if I had it done, he would still kept coming back. So in 2011, I finally got rid of him. And it wasn't because I said no. It was, well, I did say no to decide not to be with him. I made him decide not to be with me because I knew that was the only way I could stop him forever coming back. And it didn't stop him. He still came back. Do you know what he did? He slashed his wrists. Not bad enough to die or to warrant a doctor or ambulance. Just enough to pierce the skin, both wrists, to my front door to show me, to tell me to go back to him. Now, I've never told you this before. It's been, a, like I said, it's been a really emotional day. I've been in my day job, so I, I've been putting this to one side. I love serving customers. I love helping people. And now I'm who I was born to be. You know, being with him is like being in a prison. It was really like being in a prison cell. And I'm so happy to be single. I never, ever want to be in a relationship ever again with an abusive person. I don't deserve it and no one does. So if you've been in abusive relationships, you can get out of them. But I know how darn hard it is to ever leave that person. I know the mag magnetism they have. I know what the relationship's like. I, I get you. I totally understand you. And I, and I think you're so brave if if you're listening to this now and you're in what, a relationship, you know, like that. I feel you're so brave. Keep going. Keep believing in you. Keep thinking one day you will not be with this person. And look for the trigger in your mind that will set you free. Look for it. Find it and leave. Get someone to help you, you know. But most of all, if you are staying with them, Always remember you. You have a gorgeous heart and a gorgeous mind. And I love you. Do you know what they tell you? Do you know what they tell you? They tell you you cannot find anyone. They tell you that you won't find anyone. That you, you know, that no one can love you and that no one can care about you. I'm here to tell you now that I care about you. I love you. And I want you to be happy. I don't normally do emotional videos, you know. I'm all about enhancing and empowering your life. But I think it's really important that I tell you this. I think it's really important and it's empowering for you to understand that I understand you. And it doesn't matter whether you're asexual or sexual. Both asexual and sexual people get abused. I know sexual friends that have been abused. I know a lot of sexual friends that have been abused. Just because you're asexual doesn't mean to say you've been abused. And just because you're sexual doesn't mean to say you haven't been abused. You know? There's no no boundaries or things like that. You know? And it wasn't sexual abuse. Do you know? Do you know the irony of the situation of the guy that I was with for eight and a half years? The irony is 
that the most kindest, nicest time he was to me was when he had sex with me, which I used to term making L with him. Because he was gentle. He was kind most of the time. Well, he was kind doing that. And I really liked that bit of time because I could see the person that I fell in out with. Okay? So, just because you have been abused does not mean to say that you're not in a relationship. I had an incident when I was 15 years old. Yes, someone did try to have sex with me against my will. So, I have had that. But all my sexual relationships were after that time. Okay? So, I want you to know how brave you are and how strong you are. I want you to know that through the bad times, the good times will come. Because I am free of that person now. And even while I wasn't free of that person, I still had my mind. My mind was a bit crazy with him. Hey, he made me feel like I was going insane because that's what they make you feel like. But inside of me, I always had this thing that I won't always be with you. I won't always be with you. I don't know how. I don't know when. But I won't always be with you. And I loved writing back then. Although I hardly ever wrote. You know, if you can in the relationship, if you like something, do it. If you're in an abusive relationship, you like reading, you like writing, whenever they're not there, if you can do it, do it. Do what nourishes your soul, do not what makes you feel great. Do what you're passionate about, do what makes you happy. And when you are single, or even if you're in another relationship that's, that's a free relationship and good for you, always remember your own soul. I went out on this self-date tonight to reconnect with my inner being and my soul. And it's so important that you do that. You need to do that in your life. You know, my, my create, I haven't had thoughts about him like this for years. I haven't needed to. And when you're helping others, when you've been through traumatic experience yourself, it can bring old memories back, you know. And I understand that and I know I've got a friend who who teaches a post-traumatic stress course. I've never done one of those. I've never been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. But anything like that, any abuse or anything that's gone and goes against your own personality, against your own will, you know, that's trauma. That's a lot of trauma for you. Well, I want you to know you can have a better life, you know. I can, you know, I get loads of guys interested in me now. A lot of them sexual, but I get, lot, you know, I get asexual guys interested in me too. And yes, I haven't met that rate I right asexual guy yet. And I'm happily single forever. I would like a romantic relationship, you know, with a foreign guy actually, because that's what I have my most attraction for. But um, you know, I, I and I'm happy. Do you know what it's like to be free? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning now without him? With the freedom I have to do what I like, to live the life of my dreams, to pursue my own happiness, to come alive, to be me. Do you know how much younger I am now compared to back then? Yes, I was, I was younger in birth certificate age, but I was really old back then. You should see the pictures of me. You know, I was so miserable and unhappy. And yeah, I've been crying now. But for good reason. It's good to let your emotions out. Don't any, let anyone tell you you can't be emotional. I don't care whether you're a guy or a girl. You need to let this emotion out. You know, and I wanted to share this very personal experience with you. Because I want to help you. I will always continue to help you. You know that about me. I was born to help you. And to help a lot of people in this world. That's part of my life's mission. To help you. So I know it's been an emotional roller coaster of a video, but I want you to take away the message that you can survive if you're in circumstances you wish you weren't and you're strong and brave. I want you to know that I love you for who you are and that I really care about you. I want you to free yourself as much as possible from negative thoughts, from abuse, from all the past hurt. Just, just... Grab it, crunch it, and throw it in the bin. Whenever it tries to come back, you know you're stronger. Your mind, you can control. And you'll be fine.
Big hugs for you. Lots of love. Thank you for following me on this channel. Thank you for raising awareness of asexuality. Thank you for all the wonderful comments, the lots of love, the support, the encouragement as I go through this next phase in my life, which is building asexualized.com. I've built loads of it. You know, I'm just adding extra pages now, which I think is important. Um, and, you know, it's, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be good. I can't do everything at once so there's pages i'm gonna have to add afterwards and keep building a good site for you but this is a i guess a new beginning for me a new stage in my life because although i'm i'm doing facebook i'm doing twitter i see you guys on youtube i haven't done a blog before so my blog is going to be on there and i'm thinking about adding a forum i've never done a forum before i really need moderators so if you do want to be a moderator and you've got some experience of it especially do drop me a line asexualized at gmail.com asexualize at gmail.com and uh or, or, get, or get in touch with me on twitter or facebook you know if you want to be a moderator because i don't know if i can run a whole forum on my own it's going to be kind of tough but i want you guys to have one so what's coming up on the on the website well there's products on there there's my own asexualized asexual t-shirts there's quirky t-shirts because that's one of my other brands but I think it's very relevant to asexuals because it's all about expressing your individuality and doing things a little bit differently. So I'm, I'm going to have asexual t-shirts on there. They're already on there. It's going to have some of my videos, social media links, and there's going to be other asexual t-shirts and products on there by other companies. You know, so it's going to be really, really awesome. It's going to be so good for you. And um, I feel, feel that I'm taking my asexual business, asexual awareness, asexual self to a whole new level, you know? And it's it's exciting, and it's also slightly a little bit like, oh, I hope I do a good job for you guys, you know? I really want to do the best job possible. And I've got the asexual perspectives, love, life, and diversity, a celebration of diverse... Oh, I can't even speak now. Um, my new book is called Asexual Perspectives, Love, Life, and Sex, Ace Celebration of Diversity, with Ace Celebration, A-C-E in capitals face of course and so yeah um i've started that and i've got already about 12 people to interview but if you want to be interviewed for that please get in touch with me i want people's views um the asexual view on love life and sex if you're an asexual supporter as well though please get in touch because i am interviewing asexual supporters it's gonna be an interesting one that yes and uh, we're going to share all our stories and um, from all walks of the asexual spectrum as it is. So it's going to be amazing. It's going to be on Amazon as well. And there's going to be five days where you can get it for free. Yes, I did say free. So it's going to be incredible. It, it's a new phase, new journey we're starting. And uh, it's out with the old and in with the brand new. And in with what's working and what makes us happy and what's great. So I'll still be continuing Facebook, building that up. Can still continue in Twitter, building that up. Still have this channel, but you have a blog. Loads of products to see. Uh, with Well, with more coming. Can't get them all, all on there and not launch it soon because you're waiting for it. And um, hopefully a forum. So it's all going to be good. I love you all dearly. I know it's been a long video. Thanks for sticking with me to the very end. I really appreciate it. Please, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this channel. I'd love to have you with me. Uh, like um, Asexualize on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, links down below. And um, embrace your quirky and each other's. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.